Hi David, Tony from Sky Sports News. Uh, three points from the two games over Easter. What's the mood been like with the team ahead of Saturday? Okay. Uh, could have been more. Uh, could have been less. Like always in football, obviously, um, we've reflected last game, which was a disappointing one, where we were not on our best, where we uh, have not done what we wanted to do. We wanted to be much more active, uh, much more um, better in ball possession. Uh, um, but it is how it is. Uh, we, it happened. And obviously now it's the next one, and uh, there we have a huge chance, uh, local derby. Uh, everybody is aware about it and uh, we are looking forward to it. If you listen to the fans, you listen to the, to the podcasts, all the build up on this game, there's a lot of talk from the Norwich side on this 15 years unbeaten against, against Ipswich. How do you deal with that extra kind of pressure, especially when the fans worried about this record? How you <laughs> might go? To be totally honest, uh, as much pressure as we faced already in this season, I think uh, nobody and no one, nothing can really uh, destroy this group of players. And uh, it was a little bit the same noise uh, four months ago when we played them the first time. So uh, this doesn't change, and this is something which maybe makes it uh, uh, gives it a little bit more. Uh, favor flavor in this in this whole derby in this moment but at the end of the day uh, it's a game a super important game a derby i said this before the first one in a in a game like this uh, the league table the current form home or away not really counts uh, it's a it's a different game it's a it's a different um, situation and I think it's super important um, to be calm but full of energy, full of fire uh, in your heart as well. And I think we've dealt with this in the, in the first leg quite well. The biggest difference is, and this is a difference, uh, we play it at home. And uh, this is for sure something uh, what we like to make count. You said that the table kind of goes out the window and the form and all the rest of it. But looking at the two sides, I mean, from the outside looking in, it feels like a really good time for East Anglian football as far as where the two sides are. How much of Saturday is about imposing your game on Ipswich? And how much is kind of maybe trying to stop them playing their way? I think it's like always um, that we like to make sure that we do our stuff on the highest possible level, even if we respect our opponent. And uh, um, this is what we will do on Saturday as well. We have to make sure that we play um, to our pattern, to our strength. We've seen on Monday it does not always work. Okay, happens. Uh, they are humans uh, and play football. But uh, the idea was exactly the same. And I think uh, previous games before Monday, it worked quite good. And now it's all about um, reset again, make sure to show everyone and there is no better opportunity than uh, Saturday 12.30 kickoff at home in a local derby that we are better what we've shown uh, in, in, in the last game on Monday. And this is a super opportunity. Uh, we know it's an important game. We know it's a, a big game, another big one, uh, maybe bigger than the other ones, but all the other ones were big as well. So we have spoken about big games in the last... I don't know, three and a half months um, and uh, the truth is as well, it's about the three points. Um, I would have been or I am keen on, on, on three points, whoever the opponent um, would have been. And obviously now it's uh, our rival, which makes it a little bit more exciting. But at the end of the day, three points are on the table and uh, especially at home with our crowd which uh, play a huge part on, on Saturday to get this energy into the stadium, this positive energy uh, which our players need as well to be on their best. Um, this advantage is something which we have to make count. Yeah, and that, that home record, it's seven wins in a row now, you talk about positive energy and we know early in this season you've also had some very interesting conversations with the fans, maybe it's one way of putting it perhaps, but as far as what you'd like from them, with the pressure, with the game, how much are you wanting that positivity to come through from the, from the stands on Saturday? I think it's crucial. Everybody knows this. If you like to achieve something, um, you will not only achieve it if uh, the stands are top class and the performance on the pitch is 
not good uh, and the other one uh, other side around will be the same if the performance on the pitch is, is great but uh, the atmosphere on the stands is not good enough you will not achieve something and uh, this is um, exactly what I think fit together in recent months and uh, everybody got, everyone got the reward for it uh, this uh, seven uh, home wins in a row um, it's it's good but uh, We like to continue and uh, for this on Saturday, uh, everyone has to play his part on his best. Maybe even a step more, uh, us on the pitch, but uh, the supporters on the stands as well. And I think if uh, we all together again have the right mi mindset to really push for it, um, we have a chance and uh, this chance we like to grab as well. Uh, and finally from me, um, Josh Sargent has 14 in 20 this season. Especially when you think about the injury he got back at back at Huddersfield back in August. I mean, how important has he been for this team, and how much more do you think there is to come from him? I think the stats speaks for itself. Um, with 14 and 20, um, plays a crucial part. I'm super happy that he now was able to um, play two times full 90 in in, in four days' time was a big step for him uh, fitness-wise as well uh, because hopefully our season uh, continues uh, quite long in this season or as long as uh, it maximum can be and uh, for this obviously his fitness uh, will be crucial as well and I said this more often uh, for just the sky is only the limit. Thank you. Uh, David, uh, just picking up, up from that point, is it still management with his load during the week, Josh? Training was. No, uh, last week he was able to follow the full regime without any issues. As I said, uh, two full 90 in four days is a big step for him. He hasn't done this in, 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 in recent months, to be fair, without any issues. Uh, obviously, like all players and uh, he a little bit more maybe than others. Um, physically, then he, he gets fatigued, but he recovered super well and uh, now we like to push for the next games. Was that maybe um, the, the, the the upside of, clearly we know he could have gone away with America, but he had the two weeks here, and was was that block of work you were able to do with him with, with no games around that, probably laid the platform for what he was able to do in the last week or two? To be fair, in this, in this uh, break, we were not really able to workload him. Uh, he had to rest and recover his ankle, but uh, obviously it was uh, possible to give him proper treatment, uh, but no workload in this international break, which was, I think, super beneficial for his ankle because uh, it looks like that he now is able to tolerate the, the normal work load and the normal routine, which he was not able to tolerate uh, in recent months before. Uh, well, not spoken to you since uh, Easter Monday. Can get an update on Jacob Sorensen with his hamstring? Yeah, Lungi has a hamstring injury. Uh, luckily, it is not too serious, so he will be out 10 to 14 days uh, and then uh, he will be back in the race. Uh, I'll ask you on Monday, but Johnny Rowe, I mean, is there, is there any clearer timeline? Is he, He's obviously kind of, fair to say, getting to the end of his rehab process. Yeah, this is exactly how it is. So he enters now the final stage of his uh, rehab, uh, which maybe takes another 7 to 10 days and then we expect him back. Uh, in contention as well. Just a uh, footnote, I don't know if it, it brought to your attention, but um, he's been shortlisted for the EFL Championship Young Player of the Year, even with the, the periods he's had to sit on the sidelines with injury, just underlines maybe what a, what, a, what a campaign he's had on a personal level. Yeah, absolutely. I think he had a fantastic start. Uh, he had some injury problems, uh, not the biggest one even in this period. Uh, and uh, obviously now he had a a setback with this major injury but uh, he recovered super well is super energetic uh, desperate to come back and hopefully he immediately can help and push um, for our targets um, big testament uh, to him what he has done uh, i think there are some good competitors for this award uh, what i've seen but uh, i'm happy for him that he is selected as one of them I mean, that point there you, you make about, uh, clearly, I bet he's desperate and we all know what he did in this fixture as well. So maybe he was looking at this and was hoping that you could get himself ready. The way he plays as well, he's, 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 he puts everything into it. Has, it. has it been a situation where you've just had to manage him and hold him back a little bit? Because I guess it's only natural if you're a player, you want to fast-track your recovery and get, get yourself available. 
No, to be fair, I think a uh, big credit to him and uh, the medical department as well. I think they were totally clear on the time frame what uh, this kind of an injury uh, you have to respect and accept it will take because um, you can't take any risks with this kind of injury. Um, so they have done everything so far super well, ticked every box. They are a little bit ahead the schedule, to be fair, as well, slightly, which is great. Uh, but it was clear for all of us uh, we will not rush it. And obviously, with uh, recent results going so well, it took a lot of pressure uh, off some shoulders as well in this moment to force him. And uh, now we are super happy that uh, it's light at the end of the tunnel and it looks like that he, as I said, will be back in the next uh, seven to ten days. Talking of schedules, I mean, with Grant in the, with the news that you know Longy's going to be out now, he's ten or fourteen days, and, and Shane's only back recently. Does that impact at all what you'd set out, which was maybe the end of the month before you can count on him again? No, this will um, this will something which we will continue. Everything what he has done so far worked super well. Uh, we are very happy with the schedule and uh, all the steps which he has done so far. Uh, we've seen it already big improvements in his numbers, um, what we wanted, but we have to make sure that we follow the process, uh, which takes another roughly two weeks, as we said, and uh, then he immediately can pop into uh, the training and into the game regime as well, because he, he was not injured. It was only that we wanted to get him back to his best uh, fitness level, explosiveness, as we said it. And um, this means, yeah, as I said, in roughly two weeks' time, he immediately can join the group in full training. Uh, in terms of those names, is there any, anything else fitness-wise going into this weekend that you're uh, keeping an eye on or concerned? No, everybody looks fine. Everybody looks fine, recovered well. Uh, had a good session today. You can feel the excitement about uh, what is in front of us uh, already today in training as well. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow another one, match day minus one, and then we will go for it. I was, that was my next question. You know, just give us an insight into the mood around the place. And, and is that it? Is it, it? You just sense that palpable excitement. That's what is a big game in these parts, clearly? Yeah, and um, this is because of what is in front of us. And uh, this, I think, makes it super easy to quick put to bed what we experienced last Monday and uh, as well what we experienced in the weeks before. Because what I said is... Uh, what my what my truth belief is uh, a derby you have to take it out of the normal fixtures and uh, this is something special something extraordinary something which you not can put in between all the other games from my point of view it's different uh, this is a truth uh, different for for a lot of reason but uh, as i said um, even in this big game in this derby it's all about the three points and uh, we are keen on three points, whoever our opponent is, especially at home. And uh, this is what we like to show on, on Saturday. And you've said it again today, you said it after Leicester, you know, it was about fire in the belly, but cool heads. Are just interested, would you let your senior players take more of a lead, maybe in the messaging for this type of game, to just reinforce that, that you can't get carried away and get caught up in the emotion of it? Um, I, I don't think it's the right thing to to only rely on our senior players. Everyone who gets used uh, on Saturday uh, or not used even has to make sure he is on his highest energy level and uh, does everything what is he get asked to to get a positive result over the line. So uh, we play against the top side of the league after uh, 40 games. So uh, they are uh, on this position for a reason. I think this makes it even more exciting if you are able to test your best uh, yourself against the best. Um, they deserved uh, all the credit um, which they which they get because they've uh, played a fantastic season. Um, but this doesn't change that our aim will be to 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 try everything to invest everything to beat them. I think uh, this is crystal clear and this is what we would like to do. Maybe an unfair question, but I mean, you, you said you felt Leicester will definitely get promoted. You said that before and after the game. What about Ipswich? Let's speak after the game. <laughs> <laughs> Take you back to that game, though, back in the seven. That was your first experience of an East Anglian derby. I mean, did anything surprise you that day? The intensity, the feeling with the fans, how your players were during the week or on the game day? Mm, no, 
I, I experienced a few derbies to be fair. Uh, East England was the first one, yes, but um, no. Um, atmosphere was fantastic. Uh, this is the truth. Saturday has to be even better from our side because we play at home. So come on, Norwich supporters, play your part. Um, but anything else, uh, I think it was exactly what I said. Uh, this was a different game. It was uh, not something where you were able to judge it um, before on the table or on the form. If you would have done it, uh, a lot of things were maybe uh, not happen like a lot of people thought uh, in this game. And this is exactly how it should be. Uh, approach it different, approach it uh, in the way this derby deserve it. And this is what we, what we always have done, what I always have done. But make sure everybody is calm in his head and uh, sees it's all about the three points. And in terms of the actual game and how it unfolded, what were your biggest takeaways? You know, what areas did you think Ipswich were, were strong at? Where, where do you feel your, your team may need to be better this Saturday? Or where did, do you feel this game could, could hinge on in terms of the breakdown of the game? Yeah, I think a lot of words are said about uh, Ipswich. They are very well drilled, very well organised. They play a lot, uh, a long time together now. They have a lot of routines which click together without that they have to think about it, um, which 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 can happen if you work so long together. And obviously they are flying since now uh, a few years, um, which gives you a lot of confidence. Um, but again, here as well, the biggest difference for me between the first time when we met them and now is we play now at home. And this difference, this difference uh, everyone has to feel. Uh, as well and uh, if this is the case um, I, I know that um, we can be uncomfortable for every opponent and on Saturday as well for 100% and final one as you said you've said it a few times say yes we all know what goes with this fixture but it is three points could you could you could you maybe get a, a psychological lift or conversely could it go the other way if in terms of what, what the bigger picture is which is the Get past this game. You've got five, four, is it four or five left, and getting into the top six. You just have to continually focus on that's the ultimate aim, and this game is almost just a stepping stone within that. Okay, the ultimate, ultimately, aim is clear. You are right, uh, but this is a step to reach this aim, and this is how we how we see it and how we approach it. Uh, uh, super exciting step, a step at home as well, and uh, this is. Um, yeah, why we are really looking forward to. Well, just a, a quick one on, on Kieran McKenna and, and the job he's done, obviously taking a side from League One now to the top of the Championship. How, what do you make of, of that team and his job this season? What he has done is remarkable. Uh, it's, it's big, big credit to, to, to him, his staff. Um, what he has done in this season, uh, where they are, how they play. Um, how they approach it, um, it's outstanding and um, from my point of view he totally deserved uh, to win the um, manager of the year uh, in this season. This is how I would um, judge um, what he has done there. Uh, and just one final one from me, just a single out one player from Ipswich, I know Norwich you like to play quite a wide game. Leif Davis, I think 16 assists this season. He set, up, he set up the winner, he scored one as well last time out. Is he one play you're keeping your eye on? And how much are you focusing on maybe nullifying players like him on, that, on Saturday? Yeah, we keep an eye on him like on the other 10 starters as well because they have um, good individuals and are a good team as well. Okay, thanks everybody. Thanks,